Ryan, given what's at stake with this game, have you ever known an old firm game to be so hotly anticipated? Yeah, no, look, um, we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, there's been a lot made around the game, um, so a lot of talk, and um, for us, we know the situation that we're in in the league, and um, we know it's going to be a big match and a big ask. But for us, we're in front of our own fans at, at our own stadium, and um, it's important we go and put on a show and um, show how much we want to fight from out to the end of the season. George's Jack Amakis, the Celtic striker, recently said that Celtic are better than Rangers in every department and would win the league. I just yeah. want what you made of those comments. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Um, I don't, I don't get that at all. That comments, I think it's disrespectful um, to come out with that. Um, but look, it is what it is. We'll go quietly about our business. Um, we'll do our talking in here and um, work hard in here in house. And um, come Sunday, we'll be we'll be right up for the challenge. Ryan, you mentioned playing at home, and, and it'll be important to capitalise on that home advantage. I'm sure you'll be hoping for a, a very noisy Ibrox come Sunday lunchtime. Yeah, it will be. Um, we know we know what our fans bring, especially um, European nights, old firm sort of days, and um, we know come come Sunday the stadium's going to be rocking. We're going to have the full stadium right behind us, pushing us all the way. And for us as players, it's important that we start the game properly and we use that crowd to our advantage, get them right behind us, and um, hopefully come Sunday we can make it a special day for them. You've talked about you know going about your business and staying focused. Just how decisive do you feel Sunday's result will be in, in the race for the title? Yeah, I said there, Luke, we know where we are in the league. We know we're behind. Um, we know we're chasing, so we know that come Sunday it's important that we leave everything on, everything on the pitch and um, win, lose or draw. It's the, the main objective throughout the season will be that we'll never give up and we'll never stop fighting. So... We obviously want to go out to win the game and we'll do everything we can to make sure we, we send our fans home happy. Hi Ryan, uh, in terms of the month ahead as players, what's the, the feeling in the dressing room at what could potentially be, some people are saying, the biggest month the Rangers have had since 2008? Yeah, look, the, <clears throat> the feeling is that it's a huge month. It's a lot of games going to come thick and fast. Um, Obviously, we've got the league games, we've got the Europa League games and you've got the Scottish Cup to throw in the mix as well. So, like, we know it's a huge month for us as players and staff in the club. So, for us, it's we need to just give everything. And as I said before, we'll, we'll fight and, and scratch for every point and, um, and for every match that we need to go into. And it's important that we're focused on Sunday and then we take each game as it comes throughout the month and um, try and have a successful month. The last Old Firm game, Rangers got a very slow start and in the end that was what took the game away from them. Uh, from your point of view, you mentioned they had a quick start on, on Sunday. Is that very much the focus of the team going into it? Yeah, look, I think the last Old Firm, we let ourselves down. Um, we said that after the game, that we knew that it, it wasn't good enough, it wasn't acceptable, the, the performance that we went out and gave uh, as a squad and as a team. Um, and, and since then we've we've been very good in Europe. We've um, had some slip ups in the league, but come Sunday it's important that we we've had the international break. A lot of boys have been away international. A lot of boys have had time to sort of um, work hard at the training ground and um, have meetings and regather thoughts, if you like, on what their objectives are going forward for the rest of the season. And um, it starts on Sunday, so hopefully we can go out and get a positive result. Good afternoon, Ryan. Um, it strikes me you're a player that um, other players like to play to and through. Um, in terms of Gio's management of the, the side, do you feel that, that you've got the kind of freedom where your game can flourish? Yeah, definitely. I think, obviously, when, when the manager first came in, um, I was in, sort of in and out injured and um, I hadn't really played much, so he probably hadn't really seen too much of me. Um, when he first took over, but since he's came in, I've just tried to work hard and do everything right on the training pitch and take that into games and, and just do as well as I can to stay in his mind and stay in his thoughts and hopefully play, play more games going forward. And um, He's told me how much he believes in me and, and what he expects of me going forward and um, it's now for me to, to
take that on board and, and step up and put in performances. In terms of you, you mentioned there that you've been kind of in and out of the team, sadly, through through injury. Um, now you're in a place where is all that mentally, is all that behind you? <clears throat> yeah, 100%. Um, the, the, the staff behind the scenes at the club have done excellent with me and getting me to the place and the point that I'm at just now. So... Um, that that won't change the the work that's going on behind the scenes in between games and training. Um, that won't change either. So, for me, it's just keep doing what I'm doing. Cause I'm in a good place and um, fitness wise. So, just keep doing what I'm doing, and hopefully that'll carry me on till the end of the season. Hi Ryan. Um, the manager has just told us that Alfredo won't play <clears throat> on Sunday. Just how big a miss will he be for you? Yeah, it was, it'll, it'll be a huge miss. I think. You can see what when Alfredo's on his game, what he brings to us um, as an individual, and what he can bring to us as, as a team. And um, so, yeah, he, he likes the big occasion. He likes the big sort of games at Ibrox. So, yeah, he'll be a miss, but his miss will be for other people to step up and um, show their worth to the team and um, help the team. So, I think there's always disappointment for obviously Alfredo missing out, but. We have to put that to the side and we've got a massive game on Sunday and I'm sure whoever the manager selects to step in will be eager to, to help the team. How much do you guys all feel the pressure of this game when there is so much hype around about it? I think you just, it's its not really, the hype's not really in here, It's to be honest with you. its We just go about our, our jobs and our business every day. It's... You just train as well as you can. You, you you work on sort of the tactics that you're going to need for the game, and um, and you just work on that side of it. There's no real the pressure in that's more for for the outside noise. And um, I've said before that it's important that whatever we need to focus on, it's 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 all in house. And um, if we have to get a good result, important result on Sunday, then all this sort of work we've done in the training pitch this week will will need to come um, with us on Sunday. Thank you. Uh, Ryan, there's a lot of talk that the game is uh, perhaps must win for, for Rangers. Would, would you go along with that? Yeah, we want to win. Um, we want to win every game. It doesn't matter who we play, um, whether it's in the league or in Europe. And We're coming to the business end of the season where you need to, uh, prizes are going to start getting handed out. And If you want to be in amongst that prizes, then you need to start winning every game. And It starts on Sunday for us. That it, it's, a, it's a game that we look to win. Yeah, you talked about players away in international duty. You were one of those, Ryan. How, coming back from that long-term injury, how, how beneficial and, and good is it for you to be back in the reckoning in the, in the Scotland setup as well? Yeah, it's been great. I think um, throughout my injury, Steve Clark had obviously kept in touch and um, throughout. So um, that was very nice of him as well to show me that he said if I get back fit, then um, I'd played a big part for him before and obviously help him get to the Euros. So. If I get back fit at my club and play week in, week out, then he would he has that trust in me to, to get back in and um it was great to be back in that squad and, and playing the friendlies and hopefully it'll be more of that to come.